All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to do a review of the Terran Tactical Innovations Glock 34 RTS. All right, so RTS uh, is the model that they have. They have uh, different des uh, designs of customization that you can select from. Uh, this happens to be the RTS, which stands for Ready to Shred uh, Edition. Um, I've got a few aftermarket parts here that I'll go over and what Terran has done to the internals. All right, so let's talk about the process of getting your pistol to Terran Tactical Innovations. Uh, just go to their website, which is uh, TerranTacticalInnovations.com. Uh, you can send them an email or you can give them a call. They'll, they'll give you the address. Their address is not listed on the website. Um, they'll give you the address. You just send it in uh, UPS or FedEx. Please uh, let them know, obviously, that you're sending a firearm and all that. Uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not that expensive at all to get, get out shipping cost. Um, turnaround time was about three to four weeks. Uh, that can vary. You might get it sooner. You might get it maybe a little bit later, but... Uh, most majority of people that I've talked to, including this one, I got back uh, three and a half, about three and a half weeks, which is a fast turnaround time compared to some of the other Glocks I've have done. So as far as um, features that comes with the RTS um, edition, this was a very old, uh, not very old, but a, a highly used Glock 34 prior to sending it to Terran. So you can see that I did have uh, some holster wear and some basic wear and tear in the firearm. You see the frame it was uh, what they call pig nosing, but that that was a uh, well that was well broken in before I sent it to him, but. Um, the feature, one of the features I want to talk about is the sights. Um, you got a uh, you got a nice ledge here for those of you tactical dudes, and uh, if it was for emergency one hand manipulations, if you needed to uh, rack your slide um, using your belt line or uh, a pouch or something along your along your hip, you can do that. And it has a nice ledge for that. Also, just a plain black rear. That I really prefer that. Um, there's no confusion. You're not looking at two different colors in the rear and the, and the front. Um, and a plain green or red, I prefer the green uh, fiber optic that's very thin, very small. Um, it's also um, pushed all the way up to the top of the site. You see some of the sites out there that have the fiber optic in the middle. Um, I prefer it all the way up. It also has almost, uh, I'm probably going to use a bad word here, or uh, lack of a better word, almost a piece of glass inside there. I don't know if you can see that. Now what that does is it reflects the sunlight back into the fiber optic, which keeps it glowing uh, brighter and longer. So that's a very key point for me, as I like to use fiber optics in the competition setting. All right, so an obvious, uh, another obvious key feature you're going to see is the stipple work. Now you can see it's uh, very well done. The lines, very even. Uh, the person who did it definitely took their time. Um, this is what I what I would call, you know, everybody has their uh, different opinions on stipple and how aggressive it actually is. But this I would call an aggressive stipple job. It was a little bit more aggressive than I liked out of the box. But after uh, shooting it at a, at a few matches, taking it to the near range, putting it through its pace, I actually uh, become used to it and I actually like it now that it's a, that it's aggressive, and it actually kind of wore in a little bit. So um, it doesn't it doesn't bother my hand or irritate my hand after putting a few hundred, uh, five hundred rounds, three hundred rounds on range. Um, 
so it's very well done. Um, there's nothing that I wanted to shave off the grip or anything. I just wanted the original grip just with stipple all over it so you can see it just goes on front. This is a Gen 3 Glock so you can still see the finger grooves and it goes all around to the back. Um, if you wanted to choose to put some stippling here for your for your index finger or for your thumb as in your shooting position, um, you can do that too. Um, you can customize this kind of how you want it, you just got to let them know. Another cool feature you're going to get um, with your Terran Tactical Guns are you're going to get um, laser engraving. Now these, you can see I have one here, you have that Terran Tactical logo, I have one up here, I have one on the barrel, and over here it says Terran Tactical Innovations and you got uh, a little bit more laser etching there. Now that's exactly what it is, it's not, um, it's not, in, it's like, it's not an engraving or it's not anything that um, they shaved off anything material off the slide because if that happens um, and you shoot competition that can uh, the, you, you know you're borderlining lining the rules you might be stuck in ESP you might be stuck in you know I can tell on the gunsmithing work is um, uh, 13 pound spring. I'm taking a guess there, but um, I would bet that it is that. It just is very smooth coming back. The action when firing. Everybody that I've given all my buddies once I got this pistol back, I had them, you know, take a magazine at an indoor range or at a at a competition, and they all were like their their initial reaction was like, "Wow, um, it just feels like." Uh, very tuned it, it feels very well done the slide comes back very smooth it's a very smooth action throughout everything about it feels great so I know uh, there's definitely a recoil spring change in there definitely he puts a stainless steel guide rod in there just a basic uh, stainless steel guide rod which is now in legal in uh, SSP division so that's uh, even though this gun is not an, an SSP gun for those of you IDPA guys out there Due to the stippling in the magwell, but um, and he does underneath this magwell. If you didn't send it to him with one and he didn't add it, he does put a grip plug on there. I know he does uh, put um, plunger springs, um, striker springs. He puts a new a new uh, safety plunger in there. He pretty much tweaks out all the <coughs> excuse me. Pretty much tweaks out all the inside internal springs and. Um, and parts to give you that smooth trigger pull. Uh, this pull right here, I can give you some. We are safe, and I supposed to check prior to the video. There's nothing in that magazine, but the pull in it. This is a Glockwork slash uh, Zev trigger that I sent him, you know, with the gun. So he left that trigger in there, uh, which is the aluminum trigger. And just to get your pull here, and you reset. Very smooth pull, very crisp reset. Um, that's what I like in my uh, Glock, Glock triggers, and it's a reliable. Couple cool cool things you're going to get is the warranty on this firearm. Anything, uh, you know, you get this gun back and there's a major issue with functioning or anything like that, or later down the line you you see something breaks or something like that. There is a warranty with uh, Terran Tactical Innovations. Give them a call. They'll try to fix it with you over the phone, or they'll have you just send in the gun, and they'll work on it. So it's not something that, you know, because when you do these aftermarket and uh, modifications, it'll sometimes war uh, void the warranty with Glock himself. So when you're doing these uh, modifications, that's something to be weary about. But Terran Tactical will back this up. They will back up all the work they do. So that's also a reassuring thing. Also, one thing, uh, try to send uh, your pistol back in the original Glock box because you get a little uh, autograph there. Um, just adds to the authenticity um, to the work. 
Um, if you ever wanted to turn around and sell this gun in the future, um, you can have all that stuff and the value will go up, not down. So. So for those of you guys who maybe can't afford, maybe it's not within your budget uh, to just send out your entire your entire pistol. Um, he does do work on MMPs. Um, I believe he's doing some starting to do some work on some Springfields, and I believe he has some Magpul uh, base plates coming out, which are going to be awfully similar um, to his uh, Glock base pads and MMP base pads just for a Glock, uh, for Magpul P Mag and probably some other mags. You can uh, buy some of these parts um, separately. You don't have to send your entire gun out. Um, there, here's a uh, a Glock uh, connector kit. Comes with a three and a half pound connector um, and all your springs you're gonna need to lighten up that pool, just drop in type of springs. You can just purchase this directly through them. Also, they have these uh, highly popular uh, aluminum anodized finish uh, base pads. Uh, these just add, um, not only do they look really good, but they add some capacity. I believe uh, some of the USPSA ones, um, he has like plus four capacity. This one I could probably squeeze a plus two on there. This is an IDPA legal one. Um, so just get what it is in there. Especially if you're running a magwell, um, you want an extended base pad. So just in case there's a malfunction, you can get a hold of that and grip it out. Um, they do this. This will, Magwell will work with the factory base pads, though. But just keep that in mind. Also, it's held together with a um, well. It's held together solid without this pin. Even this pins down. Um, it's held pretty solid on there. But when this pins up, it's just to uh, secure it a little bit more. When you're running a Magwell like this, this is a Dawson Ice. Um, some Magwells. Uh, that that dowel that pin will hit your magwell so it'll start creeping out a little bit um, long term use I haven't uh, experienced the base pad flying off when hitting the ground or this becoming any of an issue so it's a non issue the one thing that you might worry be worried about it's gonna bang up your magwell a little bit in there but the inside of a magwell is gonna get banged up regardless whether you have this on or not from uh, from the mag hitting the sides here so definitely a uh, key with my JP Enterprise Magwell. This is a non-factor. It doesn't even hit uh, hit the pin or dowel, uh, but with the Dawson Ice it does. All right, guys, so that's going to finish uh, the Turner Tactical Innovations Glock 34 RTS review. I um, want to appreciate you guys for watching. Please be sure, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up down below. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. And check us out on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash The Shooter's Mindset.